Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Rodak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the Architects Foundation. Welcome back, we're going tall. Um, we're building stuff for our vassals over here. I've built the Marine World. We're also still building a science nexus in this system. Uh, we're just building the base in here. It's actually going to take a while um, to make something happen over here. Um, You'll notice that I have a little bit less minerals than uh, when we ended the last episode. That is because of uh, this. I actually queued up the um, the next level for these buildings, um, for the admin buildings. Um, they're being built, which is really good. It makes me happy. Um, we can actually get rid of the frontier outpost now. I mean, this is a fully settled system. Uh, I'd like to be rid of as many frontier outposts as possible gonna get rid of this one as well since we already have something settled in here so goodbye <laughs> and then I think I'm just gonna give away Hithram um, to be quite honest where is it um, over here there's nothing really that I can do anymore on there so uh, what are we doing in terms of the situation log we're still changing these species I think I'm gonna wait for that um, wait until these species modifications are done um, so that these guys get fully modified species. I mean, the Mintaka planet, we're still building a bunch of stuff on there because it's just a, a bigger planet. Um, we are over the core sector systems limit, so I kind of would like to get rid of um, a couple of these guys. Construction complete. This thing is finished. Nice. This species one's actually modified. finished. We haven't settled this, but uh, let's just say I were to settle this first section. We're not currently doing that. I think I... Well, no, it's going to give me even more core cool sector systems. I could be, would be able to get rid of the um, outpost. Um, but then on the other hand, that might not be what I want. Oh yeah, we've got the Pangalactic Research Campus in here. Um, gaining a bunch of that kind of stuff. Um, do we have to build anything in here? These ring sections are already being built, right? 300 days, 500 days, 676 days. Um, I'm not building anything in here in the smelter system. What was I doing with all my resources? This thing is nearly finished. It might actually be a thing that I'm going to try to build a couple more Dyson spheres. Uh, but I think what we're trying to do mainly is build up these science nexuses. Ain't that right? It looks to me like that is the case. Um, how far are you? A thousand days? Yeah, both a thousand days. I think uh, we might actually just want to go and build a couple more. Because we're falling behind in science. And it's not really something that I like. So let's maybe have you then. And build another science nexus. Actually... I wonder if you can do that in the normal game. Now that I come to think of it, I might have actually... Um, I might have gone against my house rules. Um, I mean, it's not weird um, to have multiple science nexuses in a system because honestly, what would stop us from building multiple orbital stations inside one system? It's not stupid like having a Dyson Sphere um, blot out the star right next to a ring world. Um, it's still kind of odd, but I guess I'm going to run with it. I guess I'm going to run with it. Um, let's build another mega structure. Let's build another science nexus site. I mean, you could just build them in multiple systems. I guess we're not going to do that. Not that many planets on here anyways. So I'm guessing that's fine. Species modified. Okay. I'm only waiting for the Pelissimus now. And I think the last segment of the smelter is also ready. Yes, okay, we can upgrade you. This thing is moving forward. This thing is moving forward. We're getting there. We're getting there. How are you looking? Yeah, you could definitely use a couple upgrades. This thing is being upgraded. Upgrade all the things. And then let's just make sure that... Uh, Species modified. People of the right mind with some proper mind control. <laughs> right, let's have you. Solar panel, orbital, mind control laser. And then you can't actually build anything in there. How's that looking? Come on, finish it. 
Uh, we're at normal speed. That should not be a thing. Um, I really have to build up. These guys have become very scary. 720k. Colony established. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. How is the composition of our fleet? How's the composition? So we got 131 battleships, 156 cruisers, 73 destroyers, and 52 corvettes. Yeah. I wonder, are the corvette designs actually up to date? Because I think I actually wanted to put the stormfire cannons on there. Do we have those? No, we only have the Ripper Auto Cannon, which is not good. I guess I gotta research that stuff at some point. Um, first buttress, which one is the is the Corvette port? Which one is the Corvette place? You over here. You don't have a fleet officer, but we can easily change that. Hello. Still don't have a retired fleet officer. Building speed plus 25%. Yeah, that really doesn't help me. Okay, then. No, I got another available dude. Why are you available? And was he a leader? Was he a leader of our, our planet? Um, I, I guess I don't really care. So, second buttress. You're the one with the corvette um, port. We're just gonna build corvettes for a couple of thousand minerals. Since we have no problem at all in terms of mineral income. We could build a huge amount of corvettes each month i actually like to have a fair amount of them like let's say two three hundred just to give our battleships uh, uh some proper screening and I, i'm thinking actually of changing um oh this guy is a butcher <laughs> it's just so odd that these guys are xenophiles and then they are the war hungriest people in the galaxy Unemployed pops. Oh, yeah, smell the bee. Okay, so smell the bee is already done. That's really good. Uh, I think we're gonna put the paradise dome down here. Yes, that's fine. And then let's put the mineral processing plant over there. And after that, it's all um, just plain mining networks. I think we're gonna stop building um, ring walls once we reach. Uh, Let's say 4,000 or maybe 5,000 uh, mineral income. Although, who am I kidding? No, we're not going to stop. We're going to build um, mineral ring walls all the time. Right, okay, so this is looking good. I'm going to queue the upgrades on the other buildings as well. Ah, come on! Take that. For some reason it wasn't registering my clicks. Um, Smelter A could use some upgrading. That's fine. Is anyone... Looks like, yeah, okay, yeah, no, we're working the visitor center. That's okay then. Um, over here, I think we want to put the paradise dome on this one. So, paradise dome, and then I'm guessing mineral processing plant, and then all the rest can also be mining networks. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're paused. That's really not a thing. Mining network, mining network. Colonization in progress. Come on. The game is getting rather choppy now in terms of performance. But I understand. I mean, huge fleets are moving through the galaxy. Okay, so that's done. Now let's get to the upgrading. Subterranean refugees. Yeah, we've got these subterranean guys on uh, Hithrim. A large group of refugees from the underground alien empire on Hithrim Prime recently streamed out of their tunnels onto the surface, chased by a small army. They are apparently part of some sort of religious minority and claim to be fleeing persecution. If we let them join our colonists on the surface, it will no doubt anger the rulers of the empire they fled from. However, if we let the pursuing army take them back underground, they will likely face max mass execution. Can't afford a political incident. Send them back. What? Why can I not give these guys um, asylum? Why, have, why do I have only one option? Come on. Give me options here. All right, then. All right, then. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to give away Hithrim. Um, so, guys, you can have uh, where is it? I guess these are all alphabetically. Yeah, over here. Yeah, have Hithrim. Have fun with it. 
Okay, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. I want to be rid, uh, uh, rid of Architect's Gift at some point. This has been settled. I'm uh, colonizing these planets. Um, I just want to do some building up uh, for these guys. I'm not going to go with my usual um, optimizing these for anything, though. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of just gently build up everything that is on, on its own tile. Uh, but I guess I'm going to do that after I've um, optimized the smelter. Because these guys are the backbone of our power. So I've given you the processing plan and everything. Okay, so C is done. Um, we've got to care for D though. So this place has... Oh yeah, it has one food tile down here. So put the Paradise Dome on there. And then the... Uh, Mineral processing plant can go on there. And then let's just drop a bunch of mining networks. The usual. Okay. Another one down here. Am I missing anyone? Nope. Okay, that's looking good. And then just a couple of normal upgrades to these things. I've got to revisit a couple of times, but um, I don't think too often. Right, uh, let's upgrade that to the max level. It's fine, it's fine. Looking good. All right then, let's build up that, that ring world and then hopefully I can actually get rid of it. Um, definitely should build a spaceport on there. And right, what do we want from this place? What do we want? These guys are not gonna enslave the synths, which is good. Um, so I guess we're gonna build a couple of synths just to make sure that this place gets properly worked on and then autochton monument for sure i got another colony over there that's nice uh let's go for some for some basic power incoming transmission i'm guessing that these guys might be shorter on power than they are on minerals so some power um definitely gotta give them a little bit of science and then some food tiles we're gonna keep this one for the Paradise Dome. We're gonna take this one for mine. What's happening over here? 10,000 minerals for some Angus Vapor. Yeah, why not? Mishar, I, I like you. Energy credits, minerals. Oh, and I can't do that. Well, the other one was the better trade. That's for certain. So, yeah, we're building that one up. I guess we just gotta come back then. Um, work the visitor center for sure. Basic mine, basic mine. Um, this one, yeah, Paradise Dome. This one's gonna have a science lab. This could go with a mineral silo, although it doesn't really help us that much. So I guess just go for a science lab then. Science, science. Um, power plant. Uh, another mine. Science. Science. That should do it. Oh yeah, there's another there's another science spot. Could go could make this into a mineral processing place. It does have a fair amount of stuff, so I guess I will. Let's put another basic Colony mine down here. Right, how's that looking? So Peace needs kind of the same treatment. This place needs the same treatment. We're gonna put a spaceport module on there. Put a spaceport on here. Yeah, but this is this is actually moving forward quite nicely. I like it. Um, let's go ahead. Build a visitor center right next to the whole thing. Um, you're gonna work the visitor center for sure. Um, let's have a couple of synths. Not like too crazy. All I want to do is really build the buildings. I don't need these guys completely filled. It's not that important. And we have a new election. Gotta be careful. I want those sweet, sweet um, influence points because they will allow us to build something else. How's the Dyson Sphere? A thousand days. Okay. We're getting closer. Um, research is still plentiful in the area, so we don't really have to rush it. I like that. Hmm... Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the election then. Or should I? I mean, I could push our current ruler, um, the the unit that we have. Where is he? Oh, it over here. 
I like that influence, I gotta say, in the naval cap increase. Frontier outpost build cost, naval capacity. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw a little bit for him in the ring. I think that's fine. Right, so. Why was I building on progress before I was building on peace? I do not know, but I guess we'll find out. So synthetics, synthetics, we're gonna have the visitor center right over here. Which actually means that I gotta switch these guys out. Build another synth, we're gonna build the Autochton Monument. Um, let's build a basic mine, let's build some food, science labs. We want to use the time that we have these planets to basically give away a fully developed one. And I'm just building on the tiles, whatever the tile resource tells me. It's actually a very rich system, lots of stuff. I don't see actually... Yeah, we've got two tiles that have nothing on them. Pretty rich um, system. Very nice. Can't really remember what was in the system before we built the thing. But it must have been good. Um, this one, let's go for a little bit more food, a little bit more research, a little bit more research. Um, that one's gonna be mine, that one's gonna be a mine. And that basically does it. That basically does it. Complete. All right, that's it for peace. Oh yeah, complete. and we're gonna build you up to the max. That's nice. Same thing for progress. I really wish I could automate um, the build-up process for these things somehow, but I don't think that that's actually a viable option. Autochron Monument there in the, in the corner. And then Equality also needs the same treatment, so we're gonna go for Visitor Center. I'm gonna put you on there. Situation log and then some, some basic mining. Some food. An uh, Autochton Monument, and uh, that's gonna be it over there. So who got elected? Yeah, we re-elected our current ruler. Great. What's your mandate? Uh, mining stations. Perfect, perfect. We've got lots and lots of mining stations in here, so just build a mining station on there. Let's go ahead, build the mining stations in there. Build a mining station. Build a mining station, right. Okay, progress is moving along, quality is moving along. Science lab, this looks like a good spot for a food tile. Uh, more food. Gotta leave one for the Paradise Dome, but I think I'm gonna just leave that one. A little bit more energy over there. Some science. Um. Uh, it's gonna go on there, basic mine. And we're done with the science nexus up in this system. What is that one? Oh yeah, the Mintaka system, very good. We've come a long way. We're gonna um, kick off the next uh, the next uh, phase of this immediately. Um, you're done, let's push you up to the highest level. That's fine then. We still won over the, won over the cap. That's kinda nasty. Let's continue to build up equality. Um, complete. What are we going to do with this? Minerals? No, we're just going to go for power. Science lab, science lab, a little bit more power. We should make place for an energy nexus. I think some more power. Some more power and another ring world is completed in the architect's magnanimity system. This is a great day. I guess we're going to go ahead and churn out four colony ships, that's fine. So how's the surface looking over here? You are growing quite nicely. We've got some Zirins on there. I haven't got a Pokemon. Why are you unhappy? You're a spiritualist. They're actually not that unhappy. That's interesting. Harmony traditions, recent immigrant, Prime Minister. Prime Minister does make people more happy? What do they do? Um, wh where's their level? Can we see wh what their level does? Um, leaders, maybe? Doesn't show me that. Okay, that's shitty. 
And we've got the next level of cool sector systems. That's really good. That makes me happy. Hmm. Leader recruitment cost reduction. I mean, we could go for army health. It's a, a bit of an odd one to research, but I guess we can live with it. So, Gality. Construction complete. This is looking good. This is looking fine. This is looking fine. Complete. I guess I gotta settle the other one. I, I just wanna get rid of this before I then go on my conquering spree. Construction complete. You are moving forward at a good pace. How is the Saginus system looking? 240 days, 200 days. And we got the... What? We gained 330 influence now? What happened? Why have we gained way more than we need? It's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I won't complain. It's fine. I can, I can live with it. Okay. Still building things on there. And we know that rival again. Does actually not make me too happy. How's the um, Corvette building coming along? Mm, let's go ahead and just turn out a fair amount of Corvettes. So that we at least got something going on there. I'd say maybe Corvettes for 15,000 minerals. <laughs> it sounds insane if you say it like that. And then maybe some destroyers as well. I'd say maybe destroyers for 10,000. Like this. And then first brick also does have the reduction, right? Retired fleet officer. And I think we need a fair amount more of the quadrant police class cruiser. Although we could also go for a um, couple fleet police just to increase the point defense. But then we definitely won't want to go for more plasma. Basically, okay. So now we've used 55,000 uh, minerals to push construction projects. <laughs> That's going to give our fleet a little bit of a boost. Just a tad. <laughs> a little bit. Man, I gotta say, I love those, um, those pulsar effects. That is amazing. I wish I'd built our capital in a pulsar system. I mean, technically, I, could, I still could. I would like to um, to actually order my vassals to make this their capital. But I guess they won't, really. Which is fine. I mean, Construction complete. it's their stuff. We're not going to be um, clingy overlords. Solar panel. How is how's friendship looking on the surface? We should be able to upgrade the admin building fairly soon. Uh, requires five pops. Uh, science Nexus construction. Okay. Oh yeah, in that system, the two building sites are nearly finished. Guess I gotta make sure that I move these forward. Because otherwise we're just paying maintenance for nothing. Once this is finished, our prototype uh, Dyson Sphere, I'm actually gonna move and build a bunch of them. All right, I guess I should maybe just give this star a number, maybe number five, so that I can jump easily into that system. 30 days, now that one's already done. All right, let's move that forward. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so now we're in here. Mentaka is still nowhere near there. Nope, it isn't. Science Nexus Hub is now in place. All those Science Nexuses! <laughs> Incoming transmission. Let's finish this. I would really like to actually get rid of these things in this episode. So, if at all possible, I'm trying to make that happen. I've got four pops in here. And Synth is going to be built soonish. Um... We're not building anything on here, which seems to be kind of a waste of time. So let's go for this science lab. Uh, let's go for some food options. Some more food. 
Um, power plant, science lab, um, power plant. What's happening over here? Okay, we have moved forward. Should we go for more shield hit points? Yeah, let's go for the energy weapons damage. It's his specialty, so it's gonna get researched rather quickly. Yeah, let's not waste any time on here. Um, science lab, science lab. This is a very good system for Ringworld. Amazing system, actually. And the artisan troop wants some money. Yeah, have the money, you freeloaders. They haven't really given us anything in a while. I mean, apart from their passive bonuses, so... I guess you could say that they are still giving us that. Okay, this planet got, got stuff to build until the end of time. This planet is also moving forward. This planet is also kind of built out, so... Yeah, good. We're moving forward over there. Um, really should have started earlier with the Science Nexus. Yeah, now I actually lost the connection to that place again. Mainly giving them the Science Nexus because I want them to get the jump drive. That is what annoys me. Where's the big fleet? Mm, I got 42,000. They're gonna become a uh, force on their own. And they got the jump drive! Hooray! <laughs> Alright, that makes me supremely happy. Trade deal was auto declined with these guys. That's a bit of a shame. I would have traded with you. No problem. No problem. Um, okay, so that 27k. Definitely wanna kick this stuff forward. So that one is already building. Let's get that one going. Gotta wait for a little more with these two nexuses. The good thing is, um, if, we, if we lose all these um, planets, our research costs are gonna go down. Active sensor link for 1200 minerals. Nah, sorry, <laughs> for 25 years. You really gotta offer better than that. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Crazy Michelle people. Oh yeah, and let's upgrade that one. Oh, these are at number nine now. You're still not quite there yet. Um, Kroll, first time I had. It's gonna take a while. Have I not queued up any synths on this planet? That might be the reason why we're so slow here. Um, build some synths. Oh, that's holy. Come on. Okay. That's looking good. We've got That's a couple of sins on here. We've got a couple of sins on here. It's just really good to reach that uh, that first level with the admin building. Um, going for the synths. Right, and then I guess we are ready to start colonizing this place. Although, yeah, I guess I can live with going over the core sector systems a little bit. Uh, where are my colony ships at? So, right, we're going to colonize this planet first. Um, where are we going to put that building? I'm gonna put it over here. And now I gotta think of a cheesy name for this. So why not freedom? <laughs> right, and then we're gonna put that one down here. Hmm. What's that gonna be called? Um, prosperity. And we're gonna have another uh, ship over here, colonize that planet. Oh, that's a three tile, that's a three mineral tile. I don't really want to build over that one. I don't see any spot where I can put that building down and not do something stupid, so... I guess I'm just gonna put it down there and live with it. Um, how are we gonna call that one? Hmm. Security. It's not really something that is very utopian or very cheesy. I'm just looking for a cheesy name. Hmm. We've got friendship already. Rationality. These guys are materialists. They're gonna understand that uh, and the the allure that that has. Construction complete. And that's the loss of our colony ships. Yeah, coming up with these names on the spot. I should have just thought uh, thought about a couple of names earlier. 
I mean, if you got good names, then uh, please let me know. It might take a while until I can get them into the game because I'm pre-recording some of these episodes, but still. Name our colony. How are we going to name this? Hmm. We're going to call it Modesty. Modesty is still good. Especially if you're looking on the Architect's Magnanimity um, star. They should know their place. <laughs> Alright, how's it looking over here? How's it looking over here? Friendship moving forward. This place moving forward. Finally, we can upgrade that building. Um, this is okay. This is okay. This is really good. Let's put up the spaceport over there. I wonder how big their fleet is going to be um, once they got this system. Um, I'm hoping that they can actually get up to maybe 100k or something. That's really, that's going to be massively useful. Because if I have 100k attached to my fleet, then we're going to be 500k. We're going to actually be a force to be reckoned with. Um, right, and then these uh, the kind of neat stuff that benefits the surface. So let's go for the mind control lasers in there. You're still missing the mind control laser. And finally, we got the Dyson Sphere completed. The first science arc system primary has now been completely enveloped by a foundation Dyson Sphere. Our engineers celebrate this as a great victory. And rightly so, we've achieved what only a handful of star empires in the history of the galaxy dared imagine. The total subjugation of a star. Energy output nominal. Yes! <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, it looks really, really cool, that light coming from out of it. Very nice. Very nice, I gotta say. So now this, is ha this has been our, our kind of prototype Dyson Sphere. And now I think we actually gotta create a couple more of them because once I'm gonna start going over the fleet limit, um, we're really gonna need that um, energy generation increase. At least that's what I'm planning. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.